Hi, in this video I'll show you how to add a custom style sheet to your WordPress theme. Now whenever you want to customize or update your style sheet, don't just update existing style sheet, this one, or don't install any plugins because those things will change because for example this file when a new update of this thing comes out if you install it all of your changes will be overwritten so it's always a good practice to create additional alternative style sheet and link it to the website so in this video I'll show you how to do that now the first thing that you have to do as you might have probably guessed you have to create a new file now you can name it whatever you want I just named it style2.css and then we have to open up function.php file because this is the file that controls what is linked, where is linked. It pretty much controls everything. Now, uh, what you have to do is go down all the way to the end of the page and then create a new function. Now, just to save us time, I'll just copy and paste a, a function. All right, now here is what is going on. You ha first you have to create a function now give it any name you want but this name has to be unique because WordPress comes with say thousands of uh, different th functions so you just always need to make sure that they don't conflict with each other so give it a unique name I just gave it my name and started with my name or something like this then open this function this pretty much means give it a name this function takes mm, six parameters name this gets template directory and uh, this is the file that has to be linked name of the file it has to match with this one if you have it inside another folder say like CSS you have to give it an <coughs> a directory like CSS something like this but for in our case it's located right inside where the style.css is so then array this is like version and type just as it is and finally uh, let's add invoke a function add action would be in script this has to be exactly the same and this should match with the name of the function so I'll save it and open up style2.css file now also make sure that you surround them with uh, quotes now this has also to be a UR URI not URL and I'll open up my style to CSS file and give it a background color to all divs I'll style it with red so this is how you style them